The term alveolar atrophy refers to the regression of the teeth-supporting crescent-shaped osseous part of the upper and lower jaw. After tooth loss, the bone no longer receives chewing forces where the tooth was lost, and the alveolar ridge regresses. First, the alveolar ridge decreases in width, and then it also starts to regress in terms of height. This is called alveolar ridge atrophy. Often an implantation is no longer possible after alveolar ridge atrophy. Without bone augmentation surgery, damage would result to the nerves, or as seen here, to the maxillary sinus. In the animation, you see a so-called onlay plastic. The patient's own bone is extracted, for example, from the jaw angle, and transplanted to the desired location. This re-establishes the sufficient bone height for an implant, and thus for a fixed dental prosthesis. You can learn more about bone augmentation in the video by the same title. How fast the bone regresses after the loss of a tooth differs in every person, and depends on various factors. In some people, it takes months. In others, it can take years. Sometimes, a so-called flabby ridge forms. This is an alveolar ridge consisting of connective tissue. This connective tissue is usually observed when the osseous alveolar ridge regresses at a very quick rate, for example due to an ill-fitting dental prosthesis. In such cases, often a fibrous ridge remains and is unfortunately not suitable for an implantation.